Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to City Skylines, Green Cities. And of course, welcome back to the city of Greendale, where things are going pretty darn well indeed. So well, in fact, that we have some self-sustaining housing. It turns out that one of the mods I was still running was conflicting with some of the new assets. So I've turned off every mod that I was running. There were only two of them. It was 81 tiles and cloud and fog toggler. I don't know which one was causing the issue, but one of them was causing an issue, but it's doing it no longer because I turned them off. And we have self-sustaining housing, as you can tell right here by that little thing right there. So all of these houses are self-sufficient. They're all going to be generating 30% less tax, but they produce 30% less garbage and consume 30% less electricity. So in theory, in theory, we can save money because we don't need as many garbage trucks and we don't need to generate as much electricity. So I'm looking at it as a bit of a plus. But with that in mind, something I'm going to do is I'm going to start... Oh, and by the way, a few people were keen to point out that I was talking about putting some nice beachfront housing here whilst the sewage output happens to be right there. I, I know that's a thing, and uh, I will move the sewage output. Actually, maybe right away. We have kind of got the money to do it. Uh, so let me just grab you and move you down to there, and grab you as well, and move you down to here as well. And while I'm doing this, I actually just want to take a moment to uh, address all of you, because in the first episode of this series, in the first Green Cities video, uh, obviously I was ill, uh, and I still am ill. I've since got medication to help deal with the, uh, the issue. So I'm, I'm still quite ill at the moment, but just the, the outpouring of support and love and kindness on that video was uh, really, really wonderful. So I just wanted to address that because I didn't do it in the previous episode, did I? Uh, just to say thank you. It's, uh, it, was, it was really nice seeing a lot of people kind of saying the same thing, which was, you know, maybe you shouldn't be recording, maybe you should heal. Uh, but the show must go on. I, I'm a firm believer in the idea of the show must go on. Uh, YouTube's not one of those jobs where you can phone up someone to cover for you. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's kind of the unfortunate downside of working for yourself, really. If you get sick, quite often you gotta work through it, because no one else is gonna do it. But it is what it is. I'm feeling a bit better. Uh, a few people pointed out that even in the last episode, part two, I sounded a bit better. I definitely felt it. I'm not having to fight for breath as much as I was, which I know that sounds really dramatic, but that's that's kind of what it feels like. That's I'm not a t I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm struggling so much with my breathing right now. Um, but it it was very much. Uh, a bit of a fight to like, you know, keep talking when I, uh, when my lungs and my throat were very much like, maybe don't. So, uh, yeah, the, the point is, I, again, I just wanted to thank everybody for the, the outpouring of love and support, and I'm working on getting better. <clears throat> I know a lot of people have been asking where airport CEO is. I know in the first episode I jokingly mentioned it, but, um, it's coming back. So is The Sims 4. I've just not been able to record much recently, and I wanted to prioritize this because it's new and people are excited about it, and I'm excited about it. Uh, so that's what's going on with those. They are coming back very, very soon, and the channel is going to get back to normal very, very soon. I'm just uh, still focusing on recovering because I really don't want to be sick anymore. It's kind of got me down in the dumps. So that's that's kind of what's going on there. Uh, but with that in mind, let's get back to talking about what I'm doing currently, which is uh, obviously districts. Gonna lay out some districts here, and I'm gonna make some of these into uh, districts with self-sufficient housing. And the reason I want to do that is because these areas are a bit smaller 
Then, you know, these larger areas that I could very well convert into being self-sufficient. The reason I'm going with the smaller districts is because they are going to hurt my weekly income a lot less than the larger districts would, because obviously there's that 30% tax cut from each district. So we're going to say you're going to be self-sufficient and you're going to be self-sufficient. And any uh, commercial in there is also going to get a little tweak as well. So Empire Hills and Franklin Heights are both going to redevelop into self-sufficient neighborhoods. Uh, we are having problems with garbage, I suppose. Not garbage, sewage. You guys don't have a power connection is the problem. Uh, it is kind of tempting to just throw like a, an advanced wind turbine down here. Because I do have the money for it. So I think I will. And I'm just going to keep that advanced wind turbine with the outflow pipes as I move them around as time goes by. That seems like the best way to handle that. Man, I really miss the Cloud and Fog Toggler. I don't like how foggy this area is right here. But it is what it is. We'll not worry too much about it. Uh, so you guys are building up here. Are you... You are not self-sufficient. Get out of here, buddy. You are. There we go. So that's gone. Uh, you are as well. It's going to take a little while for that area to develop. We did have some residential demand uh, when I decided to redevelop this. But obviously, that demand's going to go away. And obviously, our income's been hurt as well. Uh, that demand is going to go away as this area rebuilds. That's okay. Not too stressed about that. I think my goal at the moment, even though the population is way down, uh, my goal at the moment is, of course, to get up to 5,000 people so we can get the city planning policies uh, so that we can get things like the old sun policy. I think that's one of the ones we can get. I don't think it tells me in here, but I'm fairly sure that's in city planning. Oh, no, it does. Old sun right there. That's what I want. I also want things like the combustion engine ban. I've looked through all of these at this point, by the way. Uh, so the combustion engine ban says that only electric cars are allowed in the area, except for the residents, the residents, businesses, and city service vehicles. Note that this policy takes time to have an effect. Citizens with combustion engine vehicles will avoid the policy area, but if they have, if they have a destination within it, they will travel to it. That's fine. That's kind of like old town light. It's like saying, hey, come on in if you've got a, an eco-friendly car. Also, filtering out industrial waste is something I want to do. It costs $2 per industrial building per week. But it does reduce uh, ground pollution. And then, of course, electric cars. Everyone living in the area must switch to an electric car at two dollars per vehicle per week and then of course we can encourage biking as well which is a thing that we will absolutely do uh but there is you know a lot of work to do there's there's a lot of things to do and i think the the one thing we probably need to do right now is just wait for the population to come back up a little bit uh, and wait for the demand to come back up as well because we are having a couple of issues uh, with industry not actually having the workers necessary and uh, I'm wondering if that's possibly because a lot of the people that live in these houses here are Prioritizing commercial although there's not that much of it. I did change up the commercial. I did reduce it a little bit But there's really not much of anything so I think what we'll do is we'll but a cut in the video for a moment, and we'll come back when everything's sort of built up a little bit more, and we're making a little bit more money, because we're not just there yet. Okay, so money's come back up a little bit, and we actually have some pretty good demand for residential zoning. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just start filling up a lot of these areas over here. The thing is, I want to make sure a lot of these areas do actually have these, uh, these inner spaces filled up as well. So, going ahead and doing something like this is probably not a bad idea. It's just figuring out how to connect that to everything, because I don't necessarily want to connect it like that. Uh, so maybe from there? Alternatively, we do a road from... Let me turn off road guidelines for a second. We can do a road from there to there. Which leaves us a bit of an awkward gap, and then maybe just do that. And obviously the zoning isn't perfect around that, and I'm not too happy about it. But I think that's about as good as we're going to get. 
You know, I, I just I just want to fill up these spaces. That's that's kind of what I'm going for. I want some density in here. I want to bring that money up a little bit. Uh, so what we can do is we can actually just do a pedestrian path there and there to make that look a little better. And then we'll do some commercial along that bit. And then I think just residential all in there. This is all, this is going to be a giant park and people have pointed out that a central park asset does exist in green cities. Uh, I'm well aware. I haven't yet unlocked it though. So unfortunately we don't get to play with it yet. But uh, eventually we will. It'll happen. It'll happen. Uh, we'll do that just there. And again, we'll go for commercial just along this bit. Maybe not in there. Uh, and then residential can go... Maybe not there either, actually, because that's technically an avenue. So that'll be commercial. That'll all be commercial as well. In there will not be anything. I think we're just going to sort of keep the idea that commercial goes along the the major roads and I think I'm just gonna fill in a lot of this space as well uh, while I'm here I kind of want to fill up this as well so something kind of like uh, I don't know what way, what way am I gonna do this like that perhaps it's a bit weird looking but I think we'll do it yeah it kind of looks interesting then over here, we can just sort of go straight up through. Yeah, the road layouts are weird, but I kind of like it. I think it's going to look kind of funky. Don't know why I said funky with uh, such an attitude there, but there you go. Apparently, things are going to get funky. Let's bring that up through. Ooh, that's not nice looking at all. But let, let's just do it anyway, because we've committed at this point. Uh, as for this one, I mean, same thing. That'll work, and we'll just cover those in commercial as well. This will look a bit better once we get high density. Uh, sorry, I said commercial, I meant residential. Uh, this will look better once we get high density stuff in here, by the way. Like, it doesn't look great right now, but when, when the high density stuff comes in, it'll, it'll look a bit better. Uh, anyway, let's just go ahead and start, uh... Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? Let's just go ahead and see if we can start, like, lining across here a little bit. With some, uh... Some zoning. Like, that can go straight through, which is pretty neat. And that can go up to there. So I think that whole square is just gonna be commercial. Then everything back here is gonna be residential. Well, that, that bit in there, actually, as well, can be completely commercial. This bit in the middle is residential, then you are commercial. And I know what someone's going to say. Oh, you're putting too much commercial in the city. Yeah, well, deal with it. I put too much commercial in every city. And just as an FYI about the commercial thing, I just like spreading it through my city. That That's kind of where I'm at. I just, I like, you know, having these strips of it through there. And they'll help eventually, and it'll not really be that much of an issue. Uh, but anyway, moving on from that. I went ahead and added in some new districts. Cedar Park, Mill Park, Beach Square, Linden Hills, and Coleridge Square. Those all have the same policies that Empire Hills and Franklin Heights have. Same with Beach Park over here. They are, you know, self-sufficient. They're selling local produce. They're really going for the whole, hey, we're like, we're like totally saving the environment, man. And like, dude, wait, that's, that's, the <laughs> apparently they're all high and in like an 80s movie. <laughs> wait, man, no, wait, wait, dude. That's, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so that's what's <laughs> that's what's going on with these areas. Uh, that's where we're at with those. The demand for uh, residential wasn't quite as high as I thought it was. But uh, I'm excited to see these areas fill up anyway. We are gunning for that 5,000 total population. We're getting very close to it as well, which is going to mean that we can finally get that old time policy. And we can finally... Uh, enforce that old sign policy in the various locations where it needs enforced. So, definitely looking forward to that. 
Uh, definitely looking forward to actually maybe eventually making some money. Because I realized if I was to go ahead and turn off all of the policies that say, hey, be self-sufficient, we'd probably say we'd probably make a lot more money than we're making right now. But the point is to, you know, go for that kind of, well, green city. You know, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of the point. So, uh, I don't really feel like, I don't really feel like turning off that policy is a good idea. So I ain't gonna do it. At least not yet. Not until we're in desperate need of, uh, of funds, which I don't ever think we're gonna be. I, I think, I think I've got to the point in City Skylines, I put enough hours in this game that I have a fair idea of how to not lose. And I'm saying that with a degree of, uh, wariness, I suppose, because there is a first time for everything. And whilst I've played a lot of City Skylines, and whilst I've never technically lost, actually, I think I have. Now that I think about it, I think I did once on a stream, uh, go bankrupt and not recover. I don't remember, though. There is no video evidence of me losing at City Skylines, is what I'll say. So I'd like to keep it that way. Yeah, dug myself out of that hole quite nicely. Uh, anyway, let's just put some trees there to make that area look kind of nice. Uh, I want to do the same with like the corner here as well. Just sort of bring this around a little bit. Kind of like that. And we'll do the same here as well. Just bring a... Uh, bring a corner sort of around like that. With some trees. Just bringing some color to it. Bring a different type of tree, perhaps. Let me just put that in there. Uh, and then maybe... Actually, maybe not that. Maybe some of these. So something kind of like that. And that. A couple of those dotted about aren't going to hurt. You know, just to make the area look like it's got a bit of life to it. And I know there were trees there before, but I wanted something uh, a bit more custom. Yeah, big old tree in the middle there. And then maybe we just go for one of those. Just to mix it up. Yeah, I like that. That, that, that. that does the job. Anyway, our money is uh, climbing again. It looks like residential demand is... It's there, but we do have areas where, you know, people can build their homes. So I'm not stressing about that too much. Population is approaching 5,000. So close. It's really so close. It's driving me nuts that it's taken this long to get there. So, as it turns out, I ever so slightly neglected a part of the city over there who were really, really keen for more sewage treatment. Uh, and now, as a result of not doing that, a lot of them have left. And some are dead. So, uh, that's an unfortunate, unfortunate mistake right there, but those guys in here will recover. Which is fine. Uh, there are a number of abandoned premises across the city, which obviously with no mods enabled whatsoever, I have to manually destroy, which, well, I don't have to. I, I, I can leave them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, like I said, still slightly sick. Uh, I don't have to, to bulldoze them myself. I can leave them. But I know, oh, hey, we did the thing. We did the thing. All right. <clears throat> Let's uh, do some policies. Although, before we get to the policies, we do need to get a graveyard, because we don't currently have one. So, let's throw a graveyard over there, since that area is currently free. And, uh, we could throw one over here somewhere as well, perhaps? Maybe not the worst idea, in there, perhaps, might be, a, a spot? Uh, over here would be one as well, but I'm sort of thinking in there. To be honest, I'm thinking we throw a graveyard just into uh, that space there, since it's a uh, complete other end of the city to the original one. And, uh, let's do that to block off that and uh, unzone that bit. And yeah, that'll be fine. So a graveyard there, a graveyard over there will give us some pretty good death coverage. 
And what we can even go ahead and finally do is go to Sycamore Heights right here and say that uh, you, Sycamore Heights, are going to have the old time policy. You're also going to have the combustion engine ban and encourage biking. And possibly electric cars? Nah, we'll not do that. We'll do combustion, old sign, biking. Uh, combustion, old sign, biking. Uh, combustion, old sign, and biking. And I kind of just want to do this everywhere. We'll just do it on those four to start with. Because the idea there is that's going to push traffic up into the middle here. And it's going to push them like around the districts rather than through the districts. Which is kind of what we're going for. Although I'm also feeling like this road here could maybe be turned into an avenue and have the zoning removed from it. Since, you know, it's a divide between districts. Might not be the worst idea in the world to go like, hey, how about you become an avenue? So I, I think, yeah, we'll we'll go with this. Throw that in there, and then we can actually divide that up properly. And then we can actually have like an old time policy on you as well. If, if we technically took the district off of there. And maybe there as well for all of you. So that'll let traffic technically move around. Uh, this road here as well, I think, deserves an upgrade. So that we can divide that up too. So again, we can have the old sign policy. So we'll go back to you. We'll go to policies. And it was combustion, old sign, biking. Combustion, old sign, biking. Uh, same with you. And the same with you. And I guess the same with you guys as well. So biking, old sign, combustion. And old sign, biking, combustion. Right. This guy right here, we're just going to say encourage biking. And I'll do a heavy traffic ban in that central... No, let's not do that. That's dumb. So there we go. All of the districts now have their policies that I wanted, which makes me very happy. I'm very curious to see how traffic handles that. Uh, but in theory, it shouldn't really be much of an issue. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do here as well, actually, is I'm going to just bulldoze this for a second. Good thing we're paused. So bulldoze that, and I want to bring this road straight up to there. And I want to see if I can bring this road straight... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Can I bring that road straight over? I absolutely can. So those two roads are going to connect like that, which is totally fine by me. Uh, I guess we could continue this one straight on. I think I will. I think I'm going to continue both of them straight on. So this one's going to go 20 that way. And you're going to go 20 that way. So obviously that's going to be a bit of a nuts intersection, but... It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Shouldn't be. Probably will be, but we'll deal with it. Anyway, we'll do that there just to connect up that space. Uh, we'll do that to connect up that bit. Bring that into there. Bring that to you and connect those up like so. So yeah, those are going to connect around like that, no problem. And I like this. I, I think this is going quite nicely. Real talk, though. What do we have to do? No, I don't think we've got to the point where we can actually look at the actual Central Park, which is unfortunate. But what do we have to do for things like floating gardens? Oh, we need a lot more tiles. Interesting. Uh, what about you? The lungs of the city. Construct, construct seven different park or plaza buildings. Uh, I can do that. So we have a few. Let's do park with trees. It's quite a big one, but... It's also a nice one, so why not? It's just a question of where would I place it, which I guess is going to be there. It's probably fine. Probably not an issue. Uh, we'll actually bring a path out the back of that and across like so and like so. Connect that over to there and connect that over to there as well. 
So that's not so bad. That gives us uh, two more to place. I don't know if they all have to be different, but I'll make them different. We can do a large playground over by the cemetery. Good lord. Uh, maybe not. Do a large playground up there. Yeah, why not? We'll do a large playground there. And then... The, oh, this thing. Tropical garden. Let's throw that in. This area down here is kind of miserable, so we'll throw it in there. Looks kind of nice. I like it, but that should give us this thing, which is 80,000. That's the hell. No, wait a minute. This thing, the lungs of the city, 55,000. Which is a vast area filled with trees, providing the city with fresh, lovely air. Citizens visit the park to relax and see the magnificent trees. Ah, oh, how nice. How nice of the citizens to visit and see the magnificent trees. Any of you car- any of these cars electric here? I can't help but feel like the answer is no. I also feel like, speaking of electric and green energy, uh, we do need to get another bus line over here. So... Let's do that. Let's get a bus that's sort of gonna go opposite to the one that we have going down this road already. Bring it over this way. Uh, let's take it up the diagonal road, I suppose. Just a bit. We can have it stop there. We can have it stop there and come down to there. Then that will do the job. Then we'll have another one that sort of does a similar thing. Because apparently that's how buses work. Uh, and it can go up here. Just like so. Stopping there. Stopping there. And stopping there. Then this one's going to do a very similar thing again. Going the whole way around here. Stopping there and stopping there. So that's three new bus lines covering all that space. Hopefully going to do some good stuff for us. Let's just make sure that they're all green. Since again, that's the color we're going for. There we go. So a bunch of new green buses heading out there. Hopefully, hopefully people are going to be keen to use those. It's probably, probably going to take a while, but... Well, it is what it is. We'll not worry too much about uh, the buses taking a while to get some traffic and get some traction. Also, do we have a new area that we can purchase? Negative. That's that's going to be a negative. That's unfortunate, because I kind of want this one. This, this, this... We've, we've built ourselves into a literal corner here, and I'm not a huge fan of it. So doing something about that would be great. Uh, also doing something about the residential demand being on the rise is probably not a bad idea either. So let's go ahead and bring a road through there. And we'll bring a road up to there. And we can just go ahead and fill all of that with more residential zoning. We can fill across there with the same. And up here as well, other than this little bit, is, oh dear, no, 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 no. Is gonna be a very similar story. Uh, can I connect that straight in? Unfortunately not. However, if I did that, no. What would I need to do to get you to work? That's the real question here. What do I, what do I need to do to make this thing work? Oh, let me turn on road guidelines real quick. So, like that, no? That works, so I guess I'll just do that. Oh, that, that's going to be a nightmare junction, is what that's going to be. That is going to be a nightmare junction. Let's not do that. Dreadful idea. Dreadful, dreadful idea. Uh, let's just fill this up with residential, since that's kind of what we do around here. Fill up some of these ones as well, and the actual avenue itself can be commercial. And those are technically not districts yet, are they? No. Uh, let's just expand the districts we currently have, since they are kind of small over here. Just to take up that, uh, the extra sort of two grid spaces. So we'll do that kind of thing, and we'll bring this one over as well, just to take up that extra space as well, since there really is no point in doing a bunch of tiny little districts. 
At least no point that I know of. I, I don't I don't see the sense in it. So we'll just do that kind of thing there. Uh, we'll take the district zoning off of you. And we'll leave it. Actually, no, we'll take it off of those roads as well, since it's really not necessary. The idea is basically to stop traffic going through those districts, not around those districts. So we'll let those areas build. Again, going to be sustainable housing, which is, is probably the reason that I'm not actually making that much money. Speaking of money, what's the next objective? It's 7,500, isn't it? Yeah, 7,500 will get me a new tile, taxation policies, more unique buildings, metro IT cluster, which I'm excited about, uh, because it also gets me high density buildings. And the IT cluster is a specialization for offices, which reduce the workers needed by 50%, consumes 30% more electricity, but generates 30% more taxes, which uh, don't know about you, but I'm I'm all about generating more taxes since uh, all of these guys are paying 30% less. So it'll be good to get these guys out of here at some point. Actually, can I go to you for a second and go to... Filter out your industrial waste. It's going to cost me a bit, but it's going to reduce the pollution, which... Again, that's kind of what we're going for. We're kind of going for, you know, less pollution in here, so it kind of makes sense that we'd want to do that. Oh, we are having crime problems, though. Yeah, I guess I guess we don't have much police coverage over this way, so let's throw a... Uh, where's there a good chunk? So here's some commercial. Let's throw, throw a police station there. And that'll give us some coverage in that neighborhood. Uh, fire coverage is pretty rough over here as well, so opposite the police station, throw that in. Gives us a bit of coverage. Not much up here, but that's probably not a major concern. Uh, medical as well, I think we'll just throw a clinic there. Just to give us some good coverage over in this space as well, which is obviously very important. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do us for today. I am really happy that we've got this self-sustainable, sufficient, whatever, housing thing working. I think I'm going a little bit to... I'm getting a little bit carried away with it. So I think what we're going to have to do at some point is once we start looking at... Uh, once we get this tile unlocked, I think this area is pretty much going to be our city center, so... I think buildings in the actual city center are probably not all going to be self-sufficient. I think moving out of the city center, places like Beach Park, which is still central and grid-based, but I like the idea that, you know, maybe Beach Park is sort of a, a, a district that is specifically chosen to be self-sufficient or something like that. I don't know. I, I want to kind of come up with a reason for it. It's kind of a, a story, basically. Like, why why is Beach Park self-sufficient when Mulberry Heights isn't? Question mark? Isn't. Yeah. So stuff like that. And then this area over here being so central, I don't think we want it to be self-sufficient either. So that entire space is going to redevelop at some point, which to be fair... Uh, we knew anyway. This was all eventually going to be high density, so we have to get rid of the low density at some point. Either way, like I said, that's going to be it for today. So thank you, Ken, for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Once again, a huge thank you for the kind words regarding me being ill and another apology for... Not having the videos out that everybody's been wanting out. I know some people are getting impatient for their airport CEO. I really want to get back to playing it, but I'm just... I'm not overdoing it yet. I'm not going to push myself too hard because I really don't want to... I don't want to risk doing any permanent damage, basically, and I need time to, like, rest a lot. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Either way, thank you, Kenna, for watching. Like I said, it's been a pleasure as always, and... As always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.